What if someone tells you that it can take less than two minutes to make this landscape? Will you believe it? I also couldn't, but that's why we're here to reveal the big secret. I'm AK from Rogue Knight 3D, your favorite YouTuber. The finished tutorial blend file will be available for free in the description. And if you want my version of the file, you can get it on my Gumroad page as well. Before we jump into Blender, I'm gonna quickly tell you about Audible. With our link mentioned below, you will be getting a 60% off like it will be just $5.95 a month for 4 months for the premium plus subscription. But this offer is for a limited time only. There you can enjoy best selling audiobooks, new releases, originals, podcasts and much more. Well back to Blender. Delete the cube, shift A, bring in a plane, scale it 10 Blender units. Now go to the edit mode, right click and subdivide. Have at least 100 number of cuts. If you have a good PC then add a subdivision modifier as well. Now go to the shading tab, click on new, Control shift T to search for the desired textures. Select the textures and click on principal texture setup. Keep in mind you should have enabled the node wrangler add-on first to perform this action. Now it's nothing like a landscape and uh, we can see the bump might be working in the opposite direction as well. So I'm gonna invert it and reduce its strength as well. Now I'm gonna switch it to the cycles render engine. Now first we are gonna fix the color. For that I'm gonna change the color space from linear to filmic log. The color is fine now but something ain't right. To fix it, I'm gonna increase the roughness all the way to 1 and reduce specular to 0.15. And now it's time for the big gun which in this case is the displacement. Go to the material editor and change displacement to displacement and bump. Now go to the render view and you can see it's looking quite nice. Yeah we need to light up the scene and do a lot of stuff but uh, it's looking nice. I will be using scene skies to light up my scene. If you cannot see scene skies, then I have a full video on how to install scene skies. Its link will be in the description. So this is it. Like I said, we can make amazing large scale landscapes in less than 2 minutes. And not just one, we can make a lot of them by using just height maps. And they are available for free all over the web. The one I used here is from Chris. I will be giving the link to his website in the description and a big thanks to Chris for his wonderful work. So what else can we do here? We can pump up the subdivision level which can add even more details. And if you want to edit the plane a bit more then you can edit it. But for the editing process I always promote displacement via modifiers. For that you can just unplug the displacement node then bring in a displace modifier and use the height map texture. That way you will have more freedom or editing because you cannot edit something looking like this but it can be done easily if you have something like this. And yeah you can also increase the strength to 1.3 if you want. What more I did here was to add more additional lights to light up the scene and compositing to add depth and mist and much more. If you want to learn more about compositing you should check out my ancient ruins video. The link will be in the description and that's it so this is the image we got after compositing and a little bit of color tweaking when i was happy with the result then i rendered this animation and then i did a little bit more work like adding clouds and then this is the final result i hope you like it and if you did then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already Links to the blend file will be in the description and if you want me to make a video of how I edit the clouds then you can tell me in the comment box. And this is it for today. See you soon in my next video. You all take care till then and happy blending.